Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. It's Saturday night, May 4th, and it is bring your own business jet to Omaha Epley Airfoil. So we are going to fly from Minneapolis, St. Paul, down to Omaha. Let's get the ATIS here in Minneapolis. Two zero thousand standard. Temperature two one. Two point minus six. Altimeter two nine eight two. Visual runway three zero left approach in use. Visual runway three zero right approach in use. Two nine two zero altimeter. Departing runway three zero left. Runway three zero right. Or three zero. Runway one seven. Land and hold short operations in effect. Aircraft landing runway 30 left. Expect to hold short taxiway alpha 9 for crossing traffic. 8,150 feet available. Caution. Bridge the airport. Read back hold short instructions and defined altitudes. All aircraft taxi with transponder and altitude encoding on. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Yankee. Yankee. All right, we have Yankee. Let's call Minneapolis Tower and get our clearance. Thank you, taxi via Alpha Delta Cross Runway 4. Alpha Delta Cross Runway 4, last 1143. Minneapolis Tower, November 66, Lee Max Ray, looking for IFR clearance to Omaha with Yankee. November 6, 6, we max ready on the tower. You are cleared to the Omaha Airport. RC2 departure has filed. Climb to the steps that maintain 7,000 departure is 133.4, squawk 4573. 4573, what was the name of that departure procedure? All right, uh, 6 6 Lee Max, we're clear. It's filed to Omaha via the Orski 2. We'll uh, climb via the SID up to 7,000. Departures on 133.4, squawk 4573. 4573 in the box. Number 6 6 Lee Max, right? Rick is correct. Call me right attack 6 6 1 7 for departure. We'll expect runway 1 7 for departure. Call you for taxi. 6 6 Lee Max, right? All right. We have our clearance. We get our engine started here. Master switch is on, alternator master is on, nav lights are on, um, beacon is on, circuit breakers are checked, parking brake is on, fuel pump November is on, throttles are idle, November five we're clear left and right, bleed air, number two, starters engaged. All right, number two is turning, N2 is on the rise, ITT is on the rise, fuel pressure is on the rise. We'll introduce fuel, good ignition, bleed air back to normal, starter switch selected to ground. Number two stabilizing, we'll send the bleed air over to number one, and ignition on number one is engaged. And number two is stabilizing, it's stable, temps and pressures look good. Number one's turning, N2's on the rise, ITT's on the rise, fuel pressure's on the rise. We'll introduce fuel, good ignition, bleed air back to normal, star switch selected to ground. We'll let number one stabilize. The ATIS we have, Yankee, clearance delivery we've received, the clock is set, transponder is set, 4573 in the box, we'll squawk normal so the controller can see us. Our flight director is on. The autopilot is pre-selected up to 7,000, 250 knots below 10. Altimeter is a local setting. Gear selector is down. Lights are tested. Peter heat's on. De-ice is on. Flaps are set for takeoff. Trim is set for takeoff. Cabin alerts as required. Shut the APU down. We'll verify the APU is coming Run down. Ranger. Master switch is off. And taxi clearance. Let's pull up the chart here. You're from the heading and over to the for HLA Papa. Where is the signature? And over to HLA Papa, heading 215. Yes. Hey, 215, we're contacting the Papa today. Taxi lights are on, brakes are released, let's get rolling. And uh, 
Six six Lima X rays at signature, ready for taxi with Yankee. Brakes are test left. Uh, Liberty 66 Lima X ray, runway 17, taxi via Whiskey Cross, runway 4. Alright, runway, runway 17 via Whiskey Cross, runway 4 for 66 Lima X ray. Alright, the right brake is tested. Uh, we'll continue with the checklist. Um, vertical speed read zero, airspeed indicator read zero, both sides. Heading indicator turns properly. We'll do a spoiler check. Spoilers are deployed, light illuminates, full deployment, will retract, light extinguishes, and they're down. Reversers, two are unlocked, two are in reverse, two are stowed. Flight controls are free and correct. Yes, they are. All right, we're coming out of, we're going to runway 17. I'm going to get my bearings here so I can make sure I make the right turn. Whiskey. Cross runway 4, got it, so it's a left turn out of here. to the right, we'll look to the left, we're clear, let's get moving. Uh, engine instruments are checked, both engines are stable, temps and pressures look good, and take off briefing. We're going to depart runway 17, climb via the SID up to 7000. Any failure before VR, we abort and stay here. Any failure after VR, with the exception of fire and the loss of directional control, We'll go airborne, uh, troubleshoot in the air, and return here to Minneapolis. Um, other than that, we expect a normal departure with standard callouts. We have 2,620 pounds of fuel, and this flight is one hour long. Uh, nav radios are set, comm radios. Uh, departure is going to be 133.4, so I'll put, to put that in. 133.4 is in the standby. Transponder squawking normal. Altimeter is the local setting. What is that? 2982. 2982 checked. Two times. Speed heat on, de ice on, yaw damp is off. Starter switches will put to continuous. We'll turn the fuel pump on. Flaps are set for takeoff. Here's runway 422. We're clear left, clear right, clear to cross. Fuel pump is on. Uh, trim set for takeoff, and then note the time and fuel. Next is the lineup checklist. So this would just take all the way down. It's going to do a little jog to the left here. And it takes us right to the end of runway we have a problem. This scenery does not... Haha. <laughs> Oops. Let me ask if I can get the uh, departure off of this runway. And, uh, Minneapolis Tower 66 Lima X-Ray. Any chance we can depart runway 12 right? X-ray, that 
Well, we're gonna... Sorry, what do you say? Sorry, six lane max race again. Oh, yeah, 1-2 will not work for you. If you don't have 1-7, we gotta actually back down to 3-0. Alright, 6-lane uh, Maxley, we'll have to turn around and taxi down to 3-0. Right, and 6-6, uh, we can you make a 1-8 either? Six lane max ray firm, we can uh, turn around here. I see six lane max ray, then make that 180 and text the 230 left via whiskey, cross runway 4. 30 left via whiskey, cross runway 4, six lane max ray. Well, that's inconvenient. Runway 17 isn't complete on the scenery. This was while the runway was being built. And uh, I have not updated it because Minneapolis is not one of my important airports to me. So now we have to turn around and go all the way back to the end of this runway. Minneapolis, uh, Rational Delta 2196, with information on Janky, which is tight. And Delta 2186. All right, we're clear to cross runway four. I'm going to look left. I'm going to look right. Verified. We're clear and we're crossing. I'm going to do a high speed taxi just for the sake of saving time. I wish I had looked to verify that. That teaches me in the future to always make sure my sceneries are up to date to accommodate the instructions I'm given. When we arrive at the end, we'll th check the threshold for landing aircraft. We'll turn the uh, taxi lights off and we'll put the landing and strobe lights off with our clearance instructions. Minneapolis Tower uh, 66 Lima X ray will be ready to go at the end of uh, 30 left. And Lima X ray will Two seven zero six fly heading two six zero and we can be zero left for takeoff. I will fly a heading of two six zero three six or three zero left, we're clear for takeoff. Six six lane max ray. Two six zero heading. Lights and strobes. Pumps are on. Threshold's clear. We're yeah, clear for takeoff. Uh, uh, We're just going to keep on rolling. This is runway 30 left. Engines look good. Temps and pressures look good. Uh, uh, 2196. Bring them up to 40%. Percent. All right, they look synced. Everything left. looks good. We'll advance the takeoff power. 
Takeoff power is set. And airspeed's alive, both sides. 80 knots, we'll cross check. Good engines, we'll continue. Got a little bit of gust. V1, VR, positive rate, gear up, gears in transit. Alright, 400 above the ground, flaps are coming up, gears up, lights are out, flaps are retracted and indicated, we'll turn to a heading at 260. Y'all damp is on. Autopilot up to 7,000. All right, after takeoff checks, gears up, lights out, flaps retracted and indicated. Y'all damp is on. Autopilot's checked and set. Altimeter is the local setting. Okay. Minneapolis uh, 6 Mark Marksway, we're uh, climbing through four. Six, 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 Climb and maintain one seven thousand six six lean max right. All right, we're uh, left turn direct to Padalin for six six Lee Max, right? Enjoying the departure. Why is that doing that? Menu, activate, there we go. Okay, power is 78 miles. Climbing through 10, we can turn the fuel pump off, the landing lights are off, and the star switches are to flight. And we can accelerate. I'll just turn that off and uh, manually do that. Uh, oh, uh, you looking for indicated? And above flight level 180, okay. we'll put the altimeters to standard. Make sure that was Good climb right there. All right, one Minneapolis Center on one three four two five six lane max rate. Good day. Southwest four nine eighty seven say altitude. Southwest four nine eighty seven say altitude. 
Southwest 4980 Southwest 4987. Uh, thank you, turn on right heading 090 vector for descent. Descent up high with discretion. Maintain five level two four zero. Zero nine zero vector for descent and descent via pilot's discretion. Southwest 4987. Yeah, Minneapolis Center, November 66 Lima X ray. We're checking in through uh, 16 and a half for 17. Double 1325 Minneapolis Center, if you checked on, uh, welcome. Oh. Six six Lima X-ray, Minneapolis Center, Colony ETL, flight level direct to Pedalin. We're above 18. Altimeters are set to standard 2 9 or 9 or 2. Southwest 2987, that was the heading 0-9 correct? Affirmative. Pull up the Omaha Airport information. KOMA. United 165, Contact Chicago Center 134.7. Morris Cargo Center, See what the arrival procedure was. This one. And Fort Dodge is 113.5, so let's see if probably still pretty far from that. Doubt we're picking that up yet, but could be. Oh, we are. 115 and a half. Let's verify that is the VOR that we're picking up. Yep, that is Fort Dodge identified, and then we'll put Omaha in the number two. Double That's Omaha. We're not picking that up yet, but we will. across Pedlin and we'll join the uh, on course. Oop, I knocked the throttles, that's never good. Alright, it's coming back up. Southwest 4987, contact Minneapolis Center 109.4. 119.4 Southwest 4987. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm sorry, the aircraft calling. Say again. 
Why on earth are we going so slowly? Alright, the aircraft calling, I apologize. Uh, you're gonna set down. Say that one more time. I'm, I apologize. Southwest 1438, Minneapolis Center, contact to Minneapolis Tower 126.7 for clearance. Central, Metro, Tower 126.7, Minneapolis 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 Tower 126.7, Minneapol
Alright, we're level at flight level 320. Cruise checklist, we'll check our fuel. Still have plenty of fuel. Fuel pump is off. Optimeter is set to standard. Engines are in green. Cabin alerts as required and in route weather is clear. Yeah, 588, Minneapolis Center, Roger, IDEP. Now we're turning for Fort Dodge. Delta 508 Julia, Papa, contact Minneapolis Center, 119.4. Over to 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 Center, 119.4. Over to
Still facing 76 knots to our face. Oh. We'll expect runway 14 left for arrival. I'll actually program that in. Or one for right. Now twice I've hit the same thing. There we go. All right, the approach course is 142. So I'm going to put that in. 142. Check. The localizer is 110.3. Put that in standby. The aircraft calling is on readable, you're extremely quiet. So from Sherpa 182, uh, turning back for a cavalry. Project 182, Roger, thanks. Frontier flight 182 to turn up pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 240. Pilot's discretion 240, Frontier flight 182. Number 6, 6, we might activate to turn up pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 240. Our discretion down to flight level 240, 66, lean max ray. We'll just head on down now. United 588, this time I have discretion, maintain flight level 240. So, I have discretion, maintain flight level 240, United 588. Number 66 Lee Maxway, contact Minneapolis Center, 119.4. Minneapolis Center on 119.4, 66 Lee Maxway, we're switching, good day.
Minneapolis Center. November 66 six, Lee Max rays with you descending through uh, going to be flight level 290 for flight level 240. We'll descend and maintain 16,000 66 Lee Max ray. Great. We'll do our descent in range checklist. Passenger briefing is complete. Cabin alerts as required. Altimeter below 180 uh, local setting. We're not quite there yet. Nav instruments are checked and set. Flight instruments are checked. Okay, uh, area with moderate occasional heavy precipitation after 9 o'clock and approximately 100 miles. Your current uh, rear effect should keep you south of that weather, but if you do need to deviate for anything, advise. Yep, uh, we'll see on the radar and we'll notify you when you deviate. We'll go ahead and do that. That's it. Um, at or below 10, we'll turn on the landing lights on. 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 We're still sending an X-ray level uh, 290 on Oxford Radar in the decent. Uh, 6 Lima X-ray was slow to 290 knots. Uh, 290 or greater. 290 or greater. If you're doing faster than that, I'm perfectly happy with that. Okay, 290 or greater. I misunderstood that one. Uh, 6 6 Lima X-ray. We are, we're indicating 390. Okay, uh, you're indicating 390 or you're doing 390 true? Uh, we're still doing a decimal eight two, which is indicating three ninety, but we're we're actually slowing as we descend. All right, number six, make sure I just maintain two nine zero knots, indicator the world greater in the descent. Wilco six lean max ray. Number zero, Bravo Tango, turn right, direct Atlanta. 
Atlantic. Number seven, Juliet Sierra, clear to Atlantic. Number seven, Juliet Sierra. Number seven, Juliet Sierra, clear to Atlantic. Says so that last transmission was broken. Say again. November 617, Juliet Sierra, clear to direct Atlantic. Direct Atlantic, copy, thank you. Three wings, 318, clear to direct Atlantic. Direct Atlantic, three wings, 318. Uh, where, where was I? I don't know, I just start to... Uh, flight instruments check to enter below... 10, well, not there, but we're below, we're descending below 18 now, so altimeter, 2982, 2982, check, perfect. Frontier 182, contact Omaha, approach 120.1. We'll be, you got a thousand to go. Number zero, Bravo Tango, everybody in the turn direct Atlantic. Yeah, it's the turn there, though. We almost had to see what the crash was. So, there's going to be out on the turn. Zero, Bravo Tango. Number zero, Bravo Tango, I think. Omaha, I'll put it at 2982. 2982, zero, Bravo Tango. Number six, Luna, actually, uh, speed your discretion, though, must be good. Speed's our discretion, six, Lee Max, right? I'll keep it up. Star switches set to continuous. Marker beacon, we'll turn that on. ATIS we have, primary navid set identified. Quiet slope crossing altitude to 2,900 feet. Minimums are 200 feet. Missed approach is a climb to 1,900, then a climbing left turn to 3,000. Direct the Oscar Victor Romeo Vortec and hold. Oscar Victor Romeo is the Omaha Vortec. Uh, that is the final approach chart reviewed. So the only thing I have is the landing lights at 10,000. Keeping our speed up. Next is before landing checklist. Do you want to look at the final altitude 1660? And who is that for? That was for Lear Zero Bravo Tango. Number Zero Bravo Tango, for this time to maintain 16,000, 16,000. Thanks for checking. 16,000, Zero Bravo Tango. We just go direct to the airport.
someone's asking me where I got this airplane. And that was flightsim.com download files. Telling him, he's asking, is it any good? I'm saying, check my YouTube. about to cross Atlantic in four nautical miles, basically any second here. And there we go. Omaha Approach, Omaha Approach on 124.5 for 6 Lee Max Ray. We're switching. Good day. Thanks. Let's just check the ADIS again. It's Papa. No change. Omaha approach November 66. Lean Max rays with you uh, descending to 16,000. Two nine zero zero. All right, does six six Lee Maxway. We do have information. Papa will descend to five thousand. We'll turn right to heading two nine zero, and uh, we are expecting the left side. All right, one four left. I do have the ILS up for the right side, not the left side, but it's okay. We're just land on the visual for the left. I believe that's what we're expecting anyway. We're going down to five. We've got to slow down here. Hold on, 
We got four of five, zero Bravo Tango, uh, approach information, Papa's, five, current advised me have that. Six expect currently one four left. One four left, uh, yes, we had Papa, so Bravo Tango. For the X-ray contact, I'm on approach 123.32 today. Approach on 123.32, 16 max ray, good day. I see for the X-ray, it's 133.32, All right, we copy the correction, 133.32, 16 max ray, so long. Omaha approach, November 6, 6, Lee Max, we're descending through 9.5 for 5. Roger, flight 182, Omaha tower, 132.9. Roger, flight 182, And landing lights. Number 6, 15, Max, we're in Omaha approach, turn left 7, 2, 5, 0, and then again, go with us. 250 on the heading down to 4000, 66 Lee Maxway. Number 66 Lee Max Ray, Omaha Six Lee Max Ray, say again. Number 66 Lee Max Ray, turn left heading uh, 200. Left turn 200, Six Lee Max Ray. Right there, I would be making passengers uncomfortable. We would be pulling G-forces coming out of the descent. Uh, 66 six, Lima X-ray, uh, we have the airport in sight. All right, we're clear for the visual, 1-4 left, 6 Lima X-ray.
right, we're clear for the approach. The fuel pump on. Landing lights are on. Altimeter is the local setting. Sorry, 16 max ray, what was the frequency? One two three point one zero. All right, tower on one twenty three one zero. Sixteen max ray. We're switching. Sixteen max ray. Negative one thirty two point one one three two point. Thirty two point one for sixteen max ray. So long. Auto throttle off, auto pod off, manually fly it. I want to push good evening. We are 450 Baker with you out of Sumba 500 or I thought. Number 450 by the Sumba 500. Omaha Tower 660, Max Ray Visual 14 left. Yep. Omaha Tower, 6-6, six, six, Lima X-ray crossing the outer marker, visual 1-4 left. All right, speed check's going to be 6-6, Lima X-ray, Omaha Tower, wind 160 at 1-1, runway 1-4 left, clear to land. Runway 1-4 left, we're clear to land, 6-6, six, six, Lima X-ray. Speed checks 10 degrees. It is windy. It is really windy. Speed checks 20 degrees. Gears down, three green lights. Yaw damp is off. Auto throttles are off. Flight director is off. Autopilot is off. A few more knots and I can go full flaps. Speed checks full flaps. made. Throttles are idle. Oof. Touchdown. Spoilers deployed. Reversers are out. 100 knots. There's 80 knots. And 60 knots. Reversers are stowed. Let's see, I need the airport chart. We're going to be exiting, what is this, Delta? Right, number 6, Lima X-ray, left on to Delta, then via Lima to the ramp, monitor ground, point niner. All right, uh, exit Delta, Lima to the ramp, ground point nine or six Lima X-ray, thanks. 1.9. Oh. Oh. And six Lima X-ray, we're clear of uh, one four left Lima to the ramp. All right, uh, 
The after landing checklist spoilers are, are retracted. Flaps are coming up. Landing light and strobe lights are off. Marker beacons off. Fuel pump is off. The ice and pitot heat are off. Star switches are off. And uh, this is the FBO right here. Well, that was going to conclude my arrival into Omaha for this Bring Your Own Business Jet Saturday, May the 4th. park over here on this little side area. I'll squawk standby. Thanks for coming along with me. Hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, happy landings. All right, parking brake is set. Fuel cutoff one and two. And the beacon is off.